好。Oh, let's time. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of It's How. Time with the Howling Wolf. Here, going to give you selections for February seventh, two thousand and twenty. The track that I'm going to give you is to be Sam Houston's for race number six. It's going seven furlongs for an allowance optional, claiming forty thousand dollars and a purse of thirty-nine thousand five hundred dollars. We got a field of nine running. I'm going to be giving you my two top selections plus my horse to watch. First, to start off, it's going to be my top selection, which is going to be the number six, Grade One. Grade One is Morning Line Odds is at three to one. It's by Midnight Lou out of a Stefan, a Spice Town mare. Excuse me. Last time ran on January 26th at Sam Houston on a good track going five furlongs in the Frontier Utility Turf Sprint for a $100,000 purse. Came up fifth by six and a quarter length. Just chasing inside and got tired. The time before that it ran on January 15th at Sam Houston on a muddy surface going seven furlongs. For allowance $38,000, non winners of two. Won that race by eight and a quarter lengths. Set the pace and went all the way through first and was spreading out as the race went longer. The time before that, it ran on December 27th at Delta Downs, going seven furlongs for allowance optional claiming $25,000, non winners. Came up six by twenty and a half lengths. Paced, paced, pressed the the pace setter, but just got tired out into the stretch. The workouts have been on November third, going four furlongs on a fast track at Churchill Downs. Did it in forty six seconds. Breezing was the best out of the eighty workouts that day. Then the last workout was back on November 10th, going three furlongs on a fast track at Churchill Downs. Did it in 35 seconds. Breezing was the best at the 10 workouts that day. What I see with this one, it had that long break to relax and so forth to get freshened up. Uh, the workouts have been good. You can see it's been up there. It's going back to seven furlongs, straining back out and dropping in class from that stakes race, and should maybe keep. It's keeping the same jockey that has won the last race, David Cabrera, that won the last the the last time that the horse won, was a good one to um, stay it off and get up there for a good time to win by eight lengths, just having fun. But you see that it had the time that race, but also too, it's had a good couple of races so forth within. It just was that the seven furlong distance has been three out of the last six races. It came in pretty good at the distance, but it, the other races were at at Delta Downs. But it running at at Sam Houston should be a good plus. The trainer Carl Grogberg knows how to get horses very well into position. The jockey trainer combinations at 26% click win percentage. So you should see it coming on strong and late. Maybe not be so far off, but maybe relax because there's going to be other horses out there to be trying to be the pace setter and be out there late. But you may see this one coming on strong and good. For even at a lower price. So again for my top selection. At Sam Houston's race number. For race number six. It is the number six. Grade one at morning line odds at three to one. And now 
now for my second choice. It is going to be the number two awesome Saturday. His morning line odds is at five to two. Is by any given Saturday out of a Fujiyachi Pegasus mare. It is the last time it ran was back on June seventh at Belmont on a firm turf, going a mile distance. For allowance optional claiming $100,000, non winners of three. Came up seventh by four and a quarter length. Had an awkward first step and had an inside trip and just couldn't make any room to get in there for a good placing. The time before that, it ran on May 2nd at Belmont on a fast track going seven furlongs for allowance optional claiming $100,000. Came up seventh by ten lengths. Was chasing up there, was uh, pressing the pace setter behind the other two horses, and just was coming up strong and late, just got tired out around that turn. So, for my the way it was going. Then, the last time it wor ran was on uh, April 7th at Aqueduct on a firm turf going a mile distance in the Dangers he, out, Danger Hour stakes. $100,000 race, came up fourth by two lengths, got inside and just tired out a bit right into the stretch, was gaining a bit of ground but not enough to get up in there. The workouts have been on December 31st going five furlongs on a fast track at fairground. Then in 1 minute point zero two point two seconds freezing was the 21st best out of the 35 workouts that day. Then the next workout was back on January 7th going 5 furlongs on a fast track at the fairground. Then in 1 minute point zero one point six seconds freezing was the 10th best out of the 26 workouts that day. Then for the last workout it was on January 26 on a good track going four furlongs at the fairground day in 51.2 seconds breezing was the 30th best out of the 46 workouts that day. For what I see with this one is that it's going to be has lots of speed figure pace should be up there strong. A drop in class is a big plus going down to the lowest level it's been in a while or a long time. So it should be able to show the ability to come up. It had Rosario, it had Bravo, it had Gaffion, it had Hernandez aboard. So this time it's getting Deshaun Parker, which Deshaun Parker and the trainer trainer jockey combination is at a 33% click at winning percentage. It should get up there at winning at it, winning it, just stocking the pace set and maybe be out a little bit more. Then the pace setter, then just go along fast and late to come up into the stretch to come up for the good win. So again, for my second choice, it is the number two awesome Saturday at morning line odds of five to two. And now it's time for my horse to watch. My horse to watch is going to be the number seven plot twist. Plot twist is morning line odds is at eight to one. Is by Spring at last out of a unbridled song mare. Last time ran was on October tenth at Remington Park, going a mile distance for claiming twenty five thousand dollars. Came up third by five lengths. Was chasing up there was the pace after the pace setter. And just stalking and got tired out right up to the stretch. The time before that ran on February 21st at Delta Down on a muddy surface going six and a half furlongs for allowance $44,000. Came up six by six and three quarters length. Was improving the ground right into the turn. Then the time before that it ran on February 10th. At the fairground on a fast track going six furlongs for allowance optional claiming forty thousand dollars non winners of two. Got up there for six 
by eight and a half length, had to go four wide into the quarter pool, then drift it out a bit more and just lost it all the way. The workouts have been back on January 2nd, going four furlongs on a wet, fast surface at Delta Downs. Did it in 47.8 seconds breezing, was the best out of the 20 workouts that day. Then the next workout was on January 9th, going five furlongs on the fast track at Delta Downs. Did it in 1 minute point zero three seconds breezing, was the best out of the eight workouts that day. Then for the last workout, it was on January 31st, going five furlongs on the fast track at Delta Downs. Did it in 1 minute point zero two point four seconds breezing, was the best out of the 11 workouts that day. Well, I see with this one that I see that you may have to keep a close eye on is that it's had its issues and going from back and forth and it had ran once at seven and a half for long that it came up a good third. But what I see with this one, it just needs to get up there, be closer to the pace set or maybe be stalking to maybe in the mid pack instead of being in the back of the pack. Then you can see him coming on strong late with this horse coming on very well and come up for a good late kick. It has the workout. It's showing good workouts. It's had a good couple weeks from the last workout and just relaxed and so forth. So maybe that week. So it had a good time to relax for that week to work out and get it to a nice pace and going. What I see it needs to do is that be, like I said, stalking to mid-pack, and then make that late kicking move. It has the pedigree for it and and so forth, That especially at this distance. Maybe a little bit too short, but may be able to get up there for a good late kick. And it's going to be strong and good. So again, for my horse to watch, in Sam Houston's race number six, for allowance optional claiming $40,000, it is the number seven, Plot twist at Moylan Oz at eight to one. Again, to recap my selections, my top selection is the number six, grade one at Moylan Oz at three to one. My second choice is Awesome Saturday. And Morning Line Odds at 5 to 2. And my horse to watch, it is the number 7 plot twist at Morning Line Odds at 8 to 1. And remember, when you're cashing with the wolf, it's howling time. Good luck, everyone, and let's cash in those tickets. Hope everyone has a great day at handicapping. If you guys like to follow me, you can follow me on my Facebook page. At Howling Wolf and Sports and more. And Facebook. You can also f please subscribe. And follow me on my podcast here. So you can listen out to more of my selections. When I do one you'll get the notification. You can also follow me on Twitter. At Howler92. So hope everyone has a great day at handicapping. And let's make the money.